Hi, my name is Dasha Akhi, and I'm from the Department of Materials Science and Chemical Engineering. And our group focuses on computational chemistry methods. On the top uh, top left here, I'm showing you that the chart of the charging of battery and battery technique has been completed for the first time. And that is solely driven by the uh, capacitor coverage of the battery. And lithium, the lithium ion battery is one of the most advanced uh, techn uh, technologically advanced uh, electrochemical energy solutions that can slowly improve the balance between the, the source and the performer. But it still suffers from its limited numerical energy density compared to a candidate uh, lithium sulfur battery here that has almost around the same power characteristics that the hack 15 microns. And the type of triggers for the search is the lithium sulfur battery, but uh, lithium sulfur batteries are still not widespread commercialized yet because of the different problems with the cumulative electrolyte properties of the lithium sulfur battery. And that's why there's a need to design optimal electrolyte materials that are both stable, uh, uh, safe, compatible with other performance extreme lithium sulfur batteries, and offer high energy. But this is not a challenging task, uh, this is not an easy task because of the large chemical interaction space that can be experienced. And uh, instead of relying on the uh, empirical, on the lengthy and costly empirical studies here shown on the diagram, uh, it's better to use integrated, uh, an integrated design criteria where we incorporate computational studies along with the advances of the experiments and characterization techniques to, to uh, speed like to speed up or accelerate the time and the number of the new materials deployed in the market. And that's why in my research I have been developing uh, computational techniques or methods on hydrophysical structure in order to design optimal materials for lithium sulfur batteries and as well as next generation energy batteries, non-competitive ones for the first one. And uh, these are examples of lithium sulfur that are open source that I have been happily imported and been developing. Mainly, I'm going to show MISPR here, which uh, is a framework of multi scale attenuation theory where we integrate density functional fluid calculation with force field development, nuclear dynamic simulations uh, for electrolyte materials, along with extraction of atomic structure from MD simulations in order to have an accurate uh, representation of the chemical environment of uh, the molecules that should be built in order to, mod to model them more accurately in additional BFT calculations. And this is completely uh, a completely open source project uh, that is also iterative, meaning that with a single submission, the user can uh, run an entire set of simulations and derive various properties that can be used on the performance of the battery overall. And, um, uh, other features of MISPR include the automatic uh, building of the set of computational resolution and uh, automatic error handling of the errors that we encounter in the transport simulation, uh, among many other features. Uh, I have two case studies or projects in which we heavily relied on the MISPR feature. The first one was uh, recently published where we were able to develop a, method, a new method in order to accurately uh, derive nuclear magnetic resonance uh, from uh, for multi, multi like for multi component nuclear solutions, and uh, we, we resolved a couple of issues related to the computational NMR studies that are present in this feature. And in the second project, uh, I am uh, going to perform the high throughput screening of solvents, uh, candidate solvents for lithium sulfur batteries. 90% of the candidate batches were previously reported in the literature. We subjected that library to a three step screening process that involved uh, various design metrics of uh, relative thickness of the battery, from which we down selected two solvents. And uh, out of these 15, we selected three that are the most important. Uh, the integrating experiments and simulation together. So uh, how does that happen in the context of your material discovery process? Uh, 
So first of all, we, we replace them with experimental problems like the problem that we can use to come up with a larger or smaller tool for potentially greater than object that are doing without a greater problem. If they don't necessarily have to be a person, so the component is determined by some pattern, the objects are actually acting on their own, can be on their own or be placed together. And then based on that for the set of considerations, the considerations to derive certain properties of the structure property relationship from which we can extract more Sure that they all collaborate together. And the database that we have is the behavior picker, which is the classic picker. And from there, we can refine our first two steps translation. Like where, where is this running locally on the computer? Uh, here. Oh, it's on the computer. Because we need the projection operation. 